Hey, hello, welcome to the ITL. Well, let's start this ITL off. Basically, uh, I'm gonna put out a thank you to all my subscribers, all my viewers. I don't think I say it enough. Um, if I would say though, it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. That would actually be wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it probably came out wrong, but the reason I started these videos, don't making videos, put them up on YouTube, is because I wanted to do it. I The videos were for me. And, uh, yeah, it makes it more enjoyable to have the conversations back and forth in the comments and everything. But, I mean, the videos will still be there. But, I mean, I'm not, not, saying, that, not saying that the... Uh, it doesn't affect me making the videos. I mean... It's kind of a double-edged sword in my eyes. I mean, it's like, well, it's sort of like what came first, chicken or the egg, I mean, type thing in my eyes. But, I mean, I'd like to say, put out a good thank you to all my, not just subscribers, I mean, I'm talking the regular viewers, the viewers that are there every week. And I can actually count on these guys. But anyway, um, yeah, and honestly, I'd like to put out a good old thank you. And, you know, this just came to my eyes uh, for the last few days. This is 2016. 2016. This in November, it'll be six years of doing YouTube for me. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. I didn't, I wouldn't, whenever I started, I never thought, well, how long am I going to go or anything. I figure I'll just go until I can't go no more. Until I kill over, you know? But it's just six years. And need to say, the ghost's been with me through a lot of those years. And it's been it's been one heck of a ride. It's been one heck of a ride. I, I mean, I, I, I don't regret anything to do with my YouTube channel, with the videos named everything. I... I mean, there's been times where there was some squabbling here and there, but it, it, it's going to happen. We're like a family. It, it, the thing is, we basically make up, get back together. That's the main part. Um, I'd like to bring up uh, Michaela Seven. I know I've said his name a few times this year, it was in the last month or two. But he put up a really good video. Uh, just not too long ago, and it was about uh, basically asking. I think somebody asked him something like, "Does he carry a CCW while he's riding?" And if you don't know what that is, it's a concealed carry weapon, uh, a pistol. And he went through and he stressed out the uh, how important it is to get the proper training and the safety. And, and I mean that really, it really, really was a good video in my eyes. Um, you know, I'd like to put out a thank you to, to McKaylee Seven for that video, and I mean, that, that, that was just a, it kind of hit home with me. Yeah, I don't, I don't hide that I do carry whenever I'm riding. I carry most of the time in my life. It's gotten to be a part of me, and it's just there. It's there for a reason, but it's just there. Um, did I have the proper training? Yes, I did. I, I, I had a lot of them. Oh God! My father was from the was in the Marines during Vietnam, and whenever and he had, he he had me go through so much before I was even allowed to shoot for the first time. And I've been shooting guns since so oh, I say about eight nine years old. I started out with a with a small twelve gauge. <laughs> I hope you catch that one. And uh, I had to learn how to clean his guns, break his guns down after he came in from hunting. And I mean, I had to know every little piece and make sure it was all clean and taken care of before I was even allowed to pick up the gun for me to use to, to shoot a target. I mean, I've been, then it went on, I mean, it, it, just, it, it just escalated from there. And that, that, that's just me. What I've been through, and I'll tell you, I, after talking to Kelly Seven, um, which Mike, 
I was surprised how our lives were so similar. I mean, our backgrounds are very similar. Actually, we're close to being the same age. It's like, wow. I mean, and this is something only I'd only found this on YouTube, which is fantastic. This is one of the reasons why I, I love making videos. I meet so many people on, on YouTube. And I've made so many good, really, really good friends. I'm talking about people I've met face to face. It is just awesome. It is just awesome. That's the only thing I can say. Well, I'm going to go ahead and bring up something that uh, the missus got me. My, the, my wife, she's uh, really, oh, let me say, uh, she's really into safety for me. I mean, I can understand that. She, she actually got me these little reflective stickers that you put on, I put on my helmet. They reflect, whenever headlights hit on, they reflect white. And, I mean, that's cool. She actually picked up this for me. You know, you guys know the uh, high-vis vis vests that you can get. Well, this is kind of an alternative. I, I can't stand vests. Most of them don't breathe well. You don't know, get sweating and everything, so I just don't wear them. But it's a good idea to have one. Have them on. I actually own a few high-vis vis vests. One's actually perforated. It has a little holster. To be honest with you, I still can't stand it. See, it still seems like you're hot. You know, it's hard to explain. It's just like, uh, hard to explain. It just like doesn't want to breathe very well. This is actually an alternative to that. And uh, I promise that I'll at least try for it. This is, instead of being the high vis vis, this is, this is basically just uh, straps that are high vis. And they have the, let me get this untangled. The trick will be to get it untangled. Okay. It goes up over your shoulders and uh, just around the waist. And this is actually stretchy, so it will fit you if you're kind of chubby and fat like me. Um, and then this one here does fit over my coat. I've actually tried, had it on earlier to make sure it fit on and adjusted it. And it does have the, the striping right here. It does reflect light. So, I mean, it's... This would be actually a good alternative instead of those vests. Um, and actually, whenever it's low visibility, whenever I'm riding, I plan on having this in my tank bag so I can just slap this on real quick. And it'll be over my shoulders. People will be able to see me a little bit better. Uh, anything that, anything minor that might save my life, why not? You know, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna hurt me. It might look a little odd to most people. No, most riders don't ride around here with high vis, but I don't care. I don't care. It's not a, it's not a, uh, a beauty contest or anything. Come on. This is for our safety, and that's that's the main thing. But yeah, I really really was surprised when she popped up with it. She said, here, Mike. It's kind of cool. I kind of liked it. I kind of go along with my helmet. And it did come with little two little safety lights. That's actually made for motorcycles or riding bicycles. It actually came with two little safety lights that you put on your bike like a bicycle or motorcycle. One's white, one's red, and they're LEDs, and you push on them, they'll either flash fast, flash medium, or stay on solid. Well, I, I put the, the, the solid the red one in the back, the one in the red on the back of the goat, and hidden up on the front here, I got this, the white one. I figured that that is just there. So if I do have a breakdown on the road when it's dark, I can turn them on. People, If I don't have any battery, turn them on. People can see me. Just one of those little add-ons. Is, is it necessary? No. But it's better than somebody whacking into me alongside the road. Oh, let's go back to the... Uh, yeah, I mean, there's so many YouTubers out there that uh, I, I like to just say thank you to for the support these guys have been giving me. I mean, they're... If I go through, if I'm gonna miss. A, I'm gonna miss a bunch of you guys, and it just ain't fair. But you got all to know who I'm talking about. It just a big thank you, and, and I'll tell you, this has been a good six years. I started out not even knowing where I was going to go about with this channel. I just knew I wanted to make videos, and I wanted to learn to make decent videos, and 
this is how far I've gone. And I'm not done yet. I'm still working. I'm always working trying to improve my videos, believe it or not. And there are certain things that I try to stay away from while making videos. I don't want to get too fancy, but if it, if it improves the videos, why not use it? But yeah, it, it, it's been a wild ride. I, I've really learned a lot with the videos. I've learned a lot riding bikes, uh, motorcycles, and I've enjoyed meeting everyone that I've, I've met face to face. And I've also tried to to show you guys what my interests are. I do have a surprise coming. I'm hoping it'll be in by the next ITL. But if it's not in by then, I'm going to have it on to the, in two weeks. And uh, it, it's... I mean, it's not really a... My little surprise, these are just little things. and I'm going, I think I'm going to really like this surprise I've got coming up. But I'll, I need a, it will be an unboxing. Um, I'll have to open it up before I get it, just make sure it's in good condition. But I will be officially taking it out of the box and taking a look at it on on camera. That way you guys will see it as I see it. And I think this will be cool. I really think this is going to be cool. Now, I know all of you, not all of you are going to appreciate it, but... This is part of me. This is part of me, and I hope you all understand that. A little bit of, let's get over this little bit of, uh, whatever you want to be, uh, sappy crap. I hope you all guys, all you guys, hope you all had a great week. I had a so-so week. Supposed to be pretty nice this, this weekend. Sunday is supposed to be up in the 50s. Right now it is snowing outside. Pretty cool, I think, but uh, I can't wait to get rid of this, this snow weather. I hope you guys all have a great next week. And hopefully I'll have that surprise and I'll be able to show it to these guys on camera. And, uh, yeah, that's all I want to say about that. I don't want to give up too, too much on that. Not until I get it. And, uh, that's about it. Thank you for sticking with me, guys. This is Muzzle Mike, signing out.